Hey guys, so in this video here, what we want to do is um, we want to create the power function. So uh, if we see something like uh, 2 to the power of 3, we want that to equal 8. And if we see something like 3 to the power of um, 3, I'm just going to write it like that there, then this is going to equal 27, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and write what type of program this will be. So this program takes in two integer values and returns the exponent um, equivalence. And then for example, uh, here we go. Input is two and three, and the function returns two to the power of three, which equals eight. And here the input is. 3 and 3 and the function returns 3 to the power of 3 which equals 27 okay so now let's write our main function so there we go we're going to return a value we're going to turn 0 just to set it up um, we want to have our, uh, our, we want to create our function. So let's see, say integer, we'll call it pow for power. And it's going to take in an integer x, and it's going to take in an integer y. And this function will return x to the power of y. Okay, so that's just us um, declaring our function. So I'm going to take this here. Let's go ahead and actually create our power function. And I'm going to do it recursively. So all this is, is um, if we look at this here, this 2 to the power of 3, this is just 2 times 2 times 2 and here uh, 3 to the power of 3 is just 3 times 3 times 3 so that's exactly what I'm going to write for our function here so if um, y we need a base case right because if, if y is 0 then we want to return 1 because uh, x to the power of 0 is always going to be 1. So I'm going to say return 1. Um, if y equals 1, then we just want to return the value x because x to the power of 1 is equal to x, whatever x is. And now if y doesn't fall in any of these two cases, then we want to return um, the power function of x and y minus 1 because we want to we want to iterate y times so here our y value up here our y value is 3 and we iterate 3 times and again our value is 3 and we iterate 3 times so that's why we're um, subtracting 1 each time we're iterating through y until it gets to 0 or 1 okay and now we need to multiply this by our value x because we want to multiply x um, that many times okay and I think that should do it alright so let's go ahead and create uh, some variables here we we'll call this x and it'll equal uh, we'll say 2 and our y value can equal uh, 4 and let's do a little print statement 
and we'll say percent %d to the power of percent %d is equal to percent %d. And where are those values? Those values will be, let me put a next line here, new line. Um, the values will be x, y, and then our pow function, pow of x, y. All right. And let's me call in there. And let's see what we get. Uh, let's go to projects, C programming, um, Tutorial programs. Okay, so we'll call this power, and it will be a .c file. Okay. See if we get any errors. No. So we see 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16, which is great. Um, maybe let's try again. Let's try another one. Uh, 2 to the power of 0. So this should give us 1. And it does. And uh, let's try. Let's try 3 to the power of um, 3, just like we have in our example up here. So it should give us 27, and it does. So um, that's it to create a recursive power function. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I plan on putting up some videos on algorithm analysis, and we can see that this function here is actually big O of n, and I can explain why later on in the other videos. So thank you guys, and... I'll see you on the next video.